Hi, it's your sex coach Kim back again to give you some information about sex and drugs. No rock and roll in here. But there are things that will really impact your sexual experience, performance, and uh, arousal ability. And so the first thing is alcohol. Now a lot of people think you should have some alcohol, have a drink or two to relax yourself. Um, maybe reduce some inhibitions. Sometimes it can reduce too many inhibitions and you behave in a way that you wouldn't probably want to behave or you have regret or um, just general feelings of that wasn't fun. You might have some shame the next day or afterwards. So alcohol is not ever a good idea when it comes to sex. Now having a little bit like a half a glass of wine um, might be something to just calm your nerves so that you're not really feeling the effects of the alcohol because otherwise it does diminish your ability to reach orgasm and so you're not getting a full sexual experience. So try and stay away from that. And the other thing would be recreational drugs. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and there are drugs that will bring you up where alcohol is a depressant. There are various recreational drugs. Some bring you up, some bring you down. Uh, all of them are going to be impacting your brain function and your ability to have a full, complete, healthy, natural, normal sexual experience. So again, you're going to be impacting it and you won't be having the real thing. And the third thing is really important and unfortunately all too common nowadays, and that's the, the conversation about antidepressants and sex. Primarily for women. I hear mostly from women that uh, their sex drive is, has been completely killed because of the antidepressants that they're on. And while some women say, well, it's either I'm, I'm going crazy and, and I'm out of control or I, I have a sex drive and I can't have both. Um, or I can't have a, a nice calm relationship and, and, and a healthier feeling lifestyle and have a sex drive at the same time. So if I want to stay sane and, and kind of get through this period of time, I'm just going to have to give up my sex life. That's not true. Um, I've been there myself and I can tell you it is no fun when you're taking medication so that you can feel better if you're going through something temporarily, which is another conversation about how long you take an antidepressant medication, but anyhow. So you have this experience where all of a sudden your sex drive is gone, and I mean gone, or if you even get engaged in sexual activity, it's really difficult to feel something, much less have an orgasm. Now I'm here to tell you that you can go to your doctor and ask for something different. And it's interesting because I know that pretty much um, the majority of people, Wellbutrin, will actually increase your sex drive or at least not make it um, go down the drain, so to speak. Um, sometimes for, well, for some people, Wellbutrin doesn't work. Um, Celexa can also do either or. There are drugs that can never be good for your sex drive. And there are also different um, amounts that you can experiment with your doctor and say, look, um, I just want to maybe have a little bit less of the drug because when you have great sex, it's a really good anti-stress sort of <laughs> solution, okay? So having sex actually will help calm you and de-stress you. Now, I know that may not be the only answer. So if you can kind of balance things a little bit, you will find that overall things are going to be better and your relationship is probably going to be better also and make sure that you're getting some help and that you're getting some help so that you can eventually get off of the the antidepressants and um, Dr. Helen Fisher said something recently that I really I wasn't aware of but it really had me thinking and she's saying that antidepressants actually shut down the attachment ability that we have to be attached to our partners And so if you do that over a long period of time and you're on this medication, you can in fact kill the attachment that you have to your partner. And it's a brain function, um, but if you don't have that, your relationship can be in serious trouble. So I would really caution you to look very heavily into what sorts of drugs or med other medications that you're taking, um, whether it be alcohol or other types of drugs, and check with your doctor and make sure that you get something that works for you. So uh, here's to having a very healthy, positive sexual experience. And again, you can find me at sexcoachkim.com. And you can also call me, contact me by email, and I can set up a consultation with you at no charge just to see how I can help you. Okay? Thanks.